You're out at league night in a tournament playing for money, whatever. You're playing bad though. How do you get back on track? How do you get back to playing like you? Let's take a look. All right, you're struggling. You're really struggling tonight. You're, you're playing a, a set for $50, or you're playing in a tournament, or you're playing league night, and you just feel off. You just feel like, I don't feel like me today. I don't feel like I can, when I get down, it just doesn't work. What is going on, and how do I fix it? I gotta fix it, I'm in the middle of the set, I gotta win. I gotta win the money, I gotta win this tournament. I'm in the finals, now all of a sudden I'm, I'm feeling nervous. Why am I playing differently? Well, there's a few things you can do that'll help get you back on track. The first thing is pre-shot routine. If you're not familiar with what a pre-shot routine is, I'll tell you. And it is one of, if not the most important thing you can do. Pre-shot routine is doing the exact same thing every time you hit a ball. From the time you stand back, get down, aim, and fire. Your pre-shot, everything up until that, until the, the tip hits the cue ball is your pre-shot routine. And the way you practice is the way you want to play. Every single time you practice, you want to shoot with you, your pre-shot routine. How many times have you been practicing and you, or just, you know, warming up for a tournament, you just get down, you just get down and you just start firing and you're like, oh. Or they, they're going in, so like, you know, you're feeling like, you're feeling pretty loose, they're, they're just kind of going in, so you're just like, kind of like, well, whatever. You're like, whatever, you know, you're kind of showing off, but you're not going through your pre-shot pre routine. Well, guess what? It works till it doesn't. And when it doesn't, whew, you're like, what happened? So you always want to use your pre-shot routine. And the best thing you can do for your pre-shot routine is write it all down. Put it in the notes of your phone. So you like step, 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 step. I step back, I find the shot line. I step on the shot line. I step into the shot line. Practice stroke, practice stroke. Pause, pause, fire. Follow through, stay down. Just write those things down. Write that little checklist. So when you're playing, you're playing your league, you're playing a, a set, you're playing in a tournament. If you're like, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I'll just check my, I'll take a break, go to the bathroom, check my notes. Like, oh, am I, oh, I'm not pausing on my backstroke. Whatever it is you do, everyone does a different pre-shot routine. But if you do the same thing every time for your pre-shot routine, it's going to be like, it's going to be, it's gonna be like just like practicing. When you get in those tough situations, it's gonna feel like practice. And that's why you practice with a pre-shot routine. Don't be lazy, have the pre-shot routine. The next thing that's gonna help you out quite a bit is aim small, miss small. So when I'm aiming at this shot, and I know it's an easy shot, we're just doing this as an example. So for the trolls out there, it's an easy shot, I get it. I'm trying to convey a point. It's hard to do this on camera, I'm doing it all by myself. You think I got a crew over here? I don't. Also not feeling well, okay? It's been a rough month, but I promise two a month. I'm giving you two a month, that's what I do. I make a promise, I'm a man of my word. Ain't so I'm small. So, what that means is, what part of the pocket am I playing this to? Am I playing to the center of the pocket? The left, the right? I'm gonna find a particular part of the pocket that I wanna make this into. Let's say the, the, there's, a, there's a ball over here blocking half the pocket. Now the pocket gets smaller. Again, I'm gonna aim for a very, very specific part of the pocket. And if I miss it, like I said, aim small, miss small. I'm gonna miss barely. And if I miss barely, that means I still made it. So aim small to the pocket, find a part of the, cute, of the object ball, the exact point you wanna hit. Find the exact point on the cue ball that you wanna hit really, really focus in on that exact spot on the object ball, on the cue ball. Whatever your eye pattern is, do that. Really focus in. Aim small, miss small. Another thing that really helps get you back on track. Again, put these in your notes. After you watch this video, write these in your notes. It's going to help. Another thing that's gonna get you back on track, and I'm guilty of this so much. I'm guilty of this. When you start playing good, you know, I use an extension. 
So I have a long cue. When I'm playing good, sometimes I catch myself with a long bridge, really long bridge. That's way too long. I catch myself like bridging off the rail. I'll do this. That's a long bridge. That right there is a long bridge. You don't want that. Shorten your bridge. When you're struggling, shorten your bridge. I mean, you can shorten it pretty far. Like, I mean, that's like seven or eight inches. Shorten your bridge and you're gonna be, become more accurate. And I'll tell you two reasons why you'll become more accurate. One, there's less backstroke that you can possibly do. So when you're down right here and you have a short bridge, there's less backstroke. So you're not going back here and you have less room for error back here. And also, you're shortening the fulcrum here. So this, the shorter you go, the less error you have of where the tip can miss. The longer, the harder it is to hit the actual point on the cue ball you want to hit. So shorten your bridge, find something that's comfortable. It still has to be a decent length, but like that right there, I'm gonna say that's seven or eight, seven inches maybe. It's not a bad, that's not bad. You can do everything you want to do right there and you'll hit the exact point of the, of the cue ball because it is shorter. All right, we got two more things that'll help you get back on track when you're struggling. The next one, again, something I'm guilty of. Sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it, but you're hitting the ball too hard. Amateurs hit the ball too hard. It's one of the biggest flaws in amateur pool is you see them hit the ball too hard. If you are struggling, one of the best ways to stop your struggle is to hit the ball softer. Just get the ball into the pocket. You don't need to hit this ball hard. Just put the ball in the hole. There's no reason to hit it hard. No reason at all. And, and you might be saying to yourself, you might be saying, well, how am I going to draw the ball or follow the ball? How am I going to get from one end of the table to the other if, if, I have to, if I can't hit it hard? Follow through. Your follow through. So even with a shorter bridge, you can still follow through to the joint if you want to. So you can follow through a lot. So that follow through, even with a soft stroke, that follow through, you want to stay down and follow through. So you've got a short bridge. You can hit it pretty soft. Still move the cue ball around. I'm not slamming that ball in. I'm just stroking the ball. Follow through, stay down, follow through. These tips will help. If you're doing all of those things and you're still missing, you might want to check your blood sugar or something because something else isn't right. But if you are struggling in a match, you know, if you're a am regular amateur player, you're struggling in a match, I'd bet one of these things is the culprit. Write all these down, put them in your, note, in your notes on your phone. If you're struggling in a match, recommend you doing this. Just the other day, maybe a week ago, wasn't feeling my best. I still went out and I played playing a set with somebody and I was getting beat bad. I just wasn't on my game. I'm down 8-1. I was embarrassed. And I was like, oh, this is really getting out of hand. I need to do something. So I started going through my little checklist of like, what am I not doing right? I came back to 8-7. I ended up losing the match 9-7. But I came all the way back just because I took the time to take a break go through my little notes and say, all right, what are you not doing right? And then I went on a rampage. It wasn't enough to win the set, but I got back in. If I would have done that a little bit earlier, who knows? I might have been $50 richer, but I wasn't. So write these down. I, I guarantee they're going to help. If they don't help, you're probably a professional player, and I guarantee they have things in their head and in their notes of how to get themselves back on track from experience because we all need a little help, even if it's within our own brain. So give them a try, write them down, and I hope it helps you the next time you're struggling.